So this morning, I'm going on a road trip to Akuse. Akuse is a community in which I grew up. Uh, most of my friends also grew up in the same community. It's a close knit community. So come with me, come ride with me. Let's go to Akuse. The community in which I grew up is Akuse Senior Village. It's one of those communities established by Ghana's first president, Kwame Nkrumah, uh, for the purpose of the hydroelectric power dam um, to serve the hydroelectric power dam. So this place is where most of the uh, engineers, uh, technicians, accountants, this uh, place is where uh, they lived um, when I was growing up. So yeah, as you can see, we are entering um, Senior Village, um, very beautiful place. Um, and at this time, we are driving towards the school. So we have the elementary and uh, the middle school that is uh, grades one to six, and then we have a junior high school. As you can see, this is a very well-planned community. It has a school, it has a clinic, it has a clubhouse, a cinema hall, it has very good amenities, and it's a very safe neighborhood. Again, growing up, it was a very beautiful neighborhood and a happy place. People often ask me, where did you meet your wife? And I tell them, oh, we grew up on the same street. She actually lived in the house across the street from my house. So this is the street. I live in house number H6 and Lisa lived in house number H5. So H6 is where the Corolla is and across the street, H5 is where Lisa lived. So it looks like somebody lives in my house. Somebody still lives lives in our house, um, but uh, nobody lives in Lisa's house. Hence the uh, hence the abundant look, so to speak. The red dot is my remembrance of my trail of that day that I crossed the road and went to Lisa's house for us to be friends. And here's me on that day, uh, knocking on that porch door, um, and Lisa looking at me like, what the hell is wrong with you? I remember dressing up in my yellow t-shirt, um, cargo shorts, and black, uh, Reebok uh, sneakers. I had to look good. My dad moved us from uh, H line later on to uh, uh, L20. Um, but for me, H line will always be a special place for me um, because uh, I, we formed very good friendship over there, which uh, later on. Um, became a love story. This is L20. Uh, this is where we later on moved to. Um, these houses are a little bit bigger and newer than the 
age line um, the, that part of the uh, community. This part of the community I will call the Clinic Boulevard. We have most of our nurses who live here who run the uh, clinic. Um, and so yeah, this is uh, our uh, clinic road, as you can see. So yeah, um, this is a clinic. It's very small, but very efficient. Uh, the unfortunate thing is I realized it was abundant. Now there is a lot has changed in this community, which I will later tell you. Um, but I was very sad to uh, see that the clinic was no more in operation. This is a community where we had uh, on uh, water, water treatment plants, as you can see. Um, again, uh, uh, if you're asking yourself why it look, why this community looks empty, yes, the housing policy has changed. You see, there is no more you work for VRA, so you live in a VRA house. No, um, that has changed. You would have to rent the house fully or you would have to live in your house um, outside somewhere and then drive to work. Um, these houses, according to one of the workers I, I interviewed, um, the, one of the workers who was working on one of the projects, um, he said the VRA is now um, renovating these houses and they're gonna be renting them out as guest houses for profit. So it's no more the case where um, you know, we have a big community full of VRA uh, workers and VRA kids. It's uh, it's no more, uh, which is sad. I, I, I believe I believe it is sad. But uh, again, the world has changed, and so um, you know that is the policy now. Um, some some of, some of these houses look really good. I mean, the the, the ones they're doing, it looks really nice. Um, but they're going to be renting them and renting them out um, out, out as. Uh, guest houses that was the information i got so uh, the next time you visit is not going to be the the Akuse senior village that you used to know um i believe you, you may be able to rent if you want to rent but you will be a guest that's what it is um yeah so that was what i got um quite disappointed but as i said the world has changed This big building on my left is the cinema hall. In modern day, they will say movie theater. Um, the one on my right is the mess hall. This is uh, where uh, most of the workers uh, come to eat. Uh, this is another community, it's called KC3. Also very well planned. Um, and I believe the uh, new housing policy also affects um, this, this area. So I've left the community and I'm driving towards the hydroelectric power dam. Um, the main reason why the community was built in the first place. Um, this again was built by the first president, um, Kwame Nkrumah, um, as you will be seeing soon. The 
This power dam is one of two dams that were built on the Volta Lake. It uh, produces about 160 megawatts of electricity uh, that uh, combines with the Akosombo um, power plant to supply the whole of Ghana and I believe Togo and Benin. This is where I brought my trip to Akuse to an end and I want to say thanks for watching.